This video is a worked example of calculating uncertainties. Let's imagine we have this question. We've got this circuit and we want to work out how much power is dissipated in the resistor. Now the equation for that is the power equals V squared over R. So what we want to work out is what the uncertainty in the power is and we've told the uncertainty in the voltage and the resistance. Now the power itself, the best estimate is just going to be plugging these numbers in, so that's 1.5 squared over 2, which comes out as 1.125 watts. So that's our best estimate, but now we want to work out the uncertainty. First thing to check, are the numbers independent of each other? Voltage and the resistance are generally measured in different ways, so probably they're independent of each other. If they were two resistances and you'd both come from the same manufacturer or measured them both in the same multimeter, it might be a problem. But even if you're using the same multimeter for these, it's in a different mode, so it's probably going to be independent. So we can use the equations for combining uncertainties. Now in this case, We've got a squared and an r, so we're going to need two different things. We're going to need to do the squared first, and the equation for that, if a equals b to the n, and if you remember, the equation is sigma a over a equals n sigma b over b. So this is the fractional uncertainty in whatever you're raising to a power, times the power equals the fractional uncertainty here. Now in this case, B is voltage and N is 2. A is V squared. So what we're working out is that the uncertainty in V squared divided by V squared it's going to be n, which is 2, times the uncertainty in v, which is 0.1, divided by v, 1.5, which comes out as 0.133. Okay, so we now know the uncertainty in the top of the fraction. Now we've got the fraction. So for fractions, if you remember, if A equals B over C, or B times C, or C over B, they're all the same, then the uncertainty in A over A squared equals the uncertainty in B over B squared plus the uncertainty in C over C squared. So the fractional uncertainty in whatever's on top fractional uncertainty, whatever's on the bottom, square them both, add them together, that gives you the square of the fractional uncertainty of the answer. Okay, so in this case, B is V squared and C is R. And A is the power. So it tells us that the uncertainty in the power divided by the power squared equals the uncertainty in v squared divided by v squared squared, which is 0.133 squared, plus the uncertainty in the resistance divided by the resistance squared. So that is 0.2 over 2 squared, all of which comes out as 0.0. 0.0278 So we can take the square root, we get that sigma p over p equals the square root of 0 0.0278 which is 0 0.1667 we know what P is from up there, so that tells us that sigma P 
equals p times that equals 0.1667 times 1.125 equals 0.187. So our answer is the power equals 1.125 plus or minus 0.187. Now that's showing too many significant figures. You should normally only quote a uncertainty to one significant figure unless the first digit is 1. So in this case we should quote it to 2. So that should be 0.19. So that should be quoted as 1.1. I guess we'll round that down. Plus or minus 0.19. Done.